Caramelo nightclub few weeks ago became the subject of discourse when the FCT administration raided it and apprehended some street dancers on grounds that the property, which was approved for a clinic, was being used as a nightclub. Monday morning, the bulldozers of the Department of Development Control rolled in. By my wristwatch here, it's just about 8 a.m., 30 minutes after the rampaging bulldozer behind me commenced the demolition of the popular Caramelo nightclub. You can see the building is almost reduced to rubble. The workers of the club struggled to salvage what they could before the bulldozers moved in. These were all what they managed to evacuate. The FCTA team was accompanied by heavily armed police personnel. Men of the Civil Defense Corps were also on the ground. The owner of the nightclub, Mr. Max Eze, and his staff watch while the bulldozers bring down the entire building. Speaking, FCTA officials said land use contravention was the reason behind the exercise. What is happening here is that this development at this here is supposed to be a clinic. According to the Abuja Master Plan, the, uh, air, this place is earmarked for development as a clinic to serve all this neighborhood. What is around here is a residential neighborhood. As my coordinator says, since 2016, when it was evidently noticed that uh, there is deviation from approved plan and design from clinic to hotel. So we have followed due process by several relevant notices. And then um, when we got the wind of the revocation on Friday, we served a uh, demolition notice that same day, giving them 24 hours to comply, and 48 hours to comply and evacuate all the valuables. Incidentally, this morning, no sign of compliance, so we have to enforce immediately. The FCTA official also disclosed that the minister, Malam Mohamed Musa Bello, has revoked the land title of the property housing Caramelo nightclub. But speaking with ITV crew, Mr. Max Eze, who admitted that the building was earmarked for a clinic, however, faulted the FCT administration, saying it has, over the years, been paying land contravention charges. He sees the demolition of the property as inappropriate. The land use and perfect understanding was uh, originally for a uh, clinic, a commercial clinic. But then, when I came in here, after four years, or the, the, uh, the water contamination for me, about two million to some great house. Think about the effect the impact of the economy. Over 100 Nigerians have been caught. Even if they are trying to I'm not fighting the case, but this is my job. ITV crew traced and located the man who mobilized the neighborhood in 2016 to write several petitions against Caramelo Nightclub. He is a Second Republic Senator and a retired colonel, Professor Andrew Sauer. I wrote to the Honorable Minister of FCT uh -huh. to complain about the massive number of vehicles that come around this area and park across our, uh, in front of our premises. I also complain about the noise being made at that place, disturbing us at all times. What has been done today is a very welcome development. It is a, a, a way of spoiling our little children, spoiling the community. It is immoral. No space to park. All the Ashao, they are lying up here. Oh, they are disturbing us. But they are disturbing us. I am happy. The FCT administration also disclosed that a similar directive has been issued to Ibiza nightclub to within two weeks revert to its original land use or face possible demolition. For now, the popular Caramelo nightclub is fully demolished. The FCT administration and operators of the club appears to differ on certain issues. What is certain is that many would obviously be speaking for and against this, particularly on the social media. From Caramelo nightclub, Utako, I'm Ikaro Ata, ITV News, Abuja.